Security administration, so how may I help you today? Yeah, you guys called me. I didn't understand what the message is about. Have you received any case number or any ID number? No, I don't think it said one on the message. Alright, so here, as you haven't received any case number along with the message that you got today, so here, ma'am, in order I could just uh, grab up your case file right away and explain you the reason why you were receiving this call from the Social Security Administration today. Okay. I'd like you to verify me with your date of birth. Um, could you tell me what this is about first? Alright, so here, ma'am, as you said that you haven't received any case number, so that's the reason in order I can just pull out your case file right away and explain you the reason that why you were receiving this call from the Social Security Administration today. I'd like you to verify me with your date of birth, ma'am. Okay. It's uh, January 4th, 1985. Uh -huh. Thank you. Alright, so here, will it be possible for you to stay on the line for a moment so that I can just pull out your case file right away? Sure. Yeah, thank you for holding the line. No problem. So can here, I get your the name? Resion, yeah, it's uh, Nick, N-I-C-K. N-I-C-K? N -I? Uh -huh. Yeah, N-I-C-K, Nick. Oh, Nick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nick, what? And the last name is, the last name is uh, Cresco. C-R-E-S-P-O. Cresco? Cresco. It's C-R-E-S-P is in Peter and O is in Oscar. Okay. P is in Peter and O is in Oscar. You got it? Yeah, Crespo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so here, the reason why we were calling you today was regarding some legal enforcement action file under your social security number. Now here we got a strict order to suspend your social security right away at this moment. Oh my! Because we had many suspicious criminal activities going under your social security number, man. What? So... What? I didn't... No, seriously, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear you. That's why I said what? That wasn't rhetorical. I said... Alright, so here, ma'am, the reason why we're calling you today was regarding some legal enforcement action file under your social security number. What? Now here we got a strict order to suspend your social right away at this moment. Because we had found many suspicious criminal activities going under your social security number. Oh my! So did you receive any call from the local sheriff department today? I don't think so, no, it's just you guys. Alright, so here, ma'am, uh, this investigation has started a week ago, okay? And you have all the right to know about this ongoing investigation. But uh, this is a very sensitive and a very confidential case, so we are not supposed to disclose to no third party. Because this case is about an identity theft, okay? Yeah, somewhere I won't, I won't discuss it with any other third party. Uh, because here, ma'am... Without your idea and concern, someone has misused your social security number in the state of Texas to commit a fraud of more than four million dollars, ma'am. Oh my god! And your social security number was indulged in numerous drug trafficking and money laundering all over the United States, so that's the reason the Social Security Administration of Texas tried to reach you before you face any legal consequences, alright? Well, I can imagine they would try to reach me, but they didn't get a hold of me! Yeah, because here, ma'am, according to the cases which is filed under your name, so here the evidence work, government work under evidence, okay? Because here we just need to make sure that you are not the culprit who had done these criminal activities under your social security number, ma'am. No, I didn't do it under or over it. Alright, so here, uh, as, uh, because this is about an identity theft, so we just need to make sure that this legal information was provided to the right person and all, okay? They so stole my before identity? I go and read, yep. Yeah, because here, before I go and read out the cases which is filed under your name, I just need to make sure that this legal information was provided to the right person or not. All right? Okay, I'm the right person. It's me. So I would like you to verify me with 
the complete number of your social security number. Okay, but don't give it to anybody else, okay? I'll tell it to you, but don't okay. give it this number to anybody else. All right? Go ahead. Okay. 478 425 Wait a minute. First, you got to promise me you won't give it to somebody else, right? Because I don't want. Listen, remember here. Listen I don't to want me. somebody else talking. to have a. I don't want somebody no, to steal it. This is, listen to me. If I was intending to solve your I would have used it. I had it right away here in my screen. But here, I just need to make sure that you are the right person or not, right? Okay. So it's 478 5288. You do promise, all right? Yep. Okay, the last digit is 8. 478 You promise. Thank you. And here, what's your first name and last name? Diana Prince. It's Diana Prince, right? How do you spell it? Uh, D-I-E-N-A? Yes. How do you spell it? Diana or Diana? Diana. D-I-A-N-A, -A, just like you said. Diana. Uh, uh, Prince, right? P-R-I-N-C. Yes. And here, in, uh, here we're going to mail you the legal paperwork regarding your cases. So here, ma'am, I would like you to verify me with your mailing address, your physical mailing address. Okay, it's 37 High Gander, Smog and Hill Road, 4th level. And that's it's in Highlander. Davenport. It's Highlander. 37 High Gander, Smog and Hill Road, 4th mm -hmm. level. And that's uh -huh. in Davenport, Iowa. The zip code Hill is 52803. I'm sorry, what? The zip code is? Is 52803. Thank you. All right, so here, uh, Mrs. Prince, uh, from which state does your, does your, life, does, uh, your social security number belong to? I suppose it was probably right here in Iowa. I mean, it's where I've lived most of my life. It's where I was All right, so born, it was so I city? suppose it was. I was a baby, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So here it was the city you in the, in the year 1954? Um, what? No? I don't... You, what? You got this, you got, you got this uh, social security number in the year 1957, uh, 1954? Um, Jesus, I wasn't even born yet, no? Alright. So here, I uh, just would like you to stay in the line for a moment so that I can just get your call connected right away, okay? Yeah, how, how old because... do you think I am? So here, it's according to details because here, I just uh, see this in the state of Iowa in the year 1954, man. Yeah, I don't know why you're saying that. Alright, not a problem with that. So here, do one thing here. I'm just going to get your call connected to the DA, which is the Drug Enforcement Administrator, alright? Okay, so here, you I like you to... what do I do? What you said for me to do one thing. What do I, what is it you want me to do? I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper handy so that you can write down some very important information regarding your cases, ma'am. Okay, I'll do that. Go ahead. So here, ma'am, you first and foremost uh, write down your case ID number. It starts uh, with the letter L is in Larry. All right. P is in Peter. P. Yeah, letter P. Yeah, the number P. two. As in Peter. Uh -huh. And the two. number two. Yeah, number two as in what? Two as in what? The letter, the number two, ma'am. Yeah, number two as in what? It's two and the number two. I know, but you said P as in Peter, two as in what? I say the, the, the letter L, the letter P, the, the number two, the number okay, seven. L, L, L as in Lima, right? Yeah, L is in Larry, P is in Peter. And two is in what? The number two. Oh, you know the, the number num two? Okay, the number two. Gotcha. Okay, that was... The number, the number seven. Okay, number seven. Number nine. Number nine. Number two and the number two. Two, two. So that's... You got it? LP27922. Yeah. And here, ma'am, uh, have you ever visited the state of Texas before? No, never been to Texas. Right. That's a rough state so, right there. Uh-huh. Because here, ma'am, the investigation started a week ago when we had found 
an abandoned car in the south border of Texas, and the car contains some bloods and drugs residue inside the residence. So that's the reason the Social Security Administration of Texas has filed a case under your drug trafficking and money laundering, ma'am. So do you have any idea about these cases which is filed under your name? No, mercy. That sounds pretty bad. Because here, yeah, ma'am, we also have checked your past record. We had found that your banking contains a genuine record and your social has no complaint in the past, okay? So that's the reason we, the Social Security Administration of Texas, Try to reach you before you face any legal consequences, all right? Is what all right? And here, ma'am, would you agree to cooperate with the Social Security Administration of Texas so that we can help out to fix up the issue regarding your cases, which is filed under your name, ma'am? Eh? Well, I'll, I'll agree if it gets me out of trouble, but not if I'm going to jail. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> All right, so here, Mrs. Prince, I will inform you that cancelling your arrest warrant is all not an easy test, okay? First of all, we have to suspend your social security number, and we will have to issue you a new one so that in the future you can be safe and secure from this kind of criminal activities, okay? Okay, what's that arrest warrant ID number? I didn't get that. So here, the arrest warrant ID number that is provided is your case ID number, because here, your call is going to get transferred to the DA, which is a Drug Enforcement Administrator, right? So it'll be the it's local uh, local police? Yeah, because he's going to be the only person who's going to assist you further regarding your cases, all right? So if I call the, like, the local police and give them my arrest ID number, they'll know exactly what the case is all about? Yeah, because here, ma'am, they're going to speak with the DAE, which is the Drug Enforcement Administrator, all right? So okay. I want you to stay in the line for a moment so that I can just get your call connected right away. So okay. will it be possible for you to stay on the line? Sure. Thank you. Thanks for holding the line. Your call has been transferred to Carissa Moss, the senior DA officer. How can I help you? I don't know. I don't know why I'm being transferred. All right, ma'am, uh, you were talking to one of the representatives from the Social Security Administration office, right? Yes, Nick Creepo. All right, so he did explain it to you what's going on? Yes. So did you understand what this well, case is all about? Well, it sounds to me like somebody took my uh, social ID number and, and did some bad things after they took it. At. All right. Okay. Uh, can you please uh, confirm your name once again so that I can have a proper look into your files and, you know, give the same information to you? Yes, it's Diana Prince. All right. Yes, Miss Prince. Uh, now, okay, let me explain this to you once again. Uh, right now, Miss Prince, uh, you have been charged with money laundering and drugs trafficking due to your social number being involved in different illegal activities. So, are you aware about this? Are you directly or indirectly involved in any of this matter? I did not know that my social security number could do all them things. You sure was uh, it well, somebody you... that did it using my number? Well, I'm not sure if it is you or somebody else is using your number, but yes, there yeah, are charges the on your... because the can't do it. It's got to be somebody else. It's got to be. Well, I'm not sure about that, uh, Miss Prince. Okay, uh, I need to know, have you ever been to the state of Texas before? No, I, I'll never go to that. that. That's a pretty rough, rough state right there. I've never been to the province of, of Texas. I've never been to that province. Does any of your family member or your friends live there? No, I don't think so. I don't know anybody there. Okay. Now, uh, are you aware that somebody or, you know, I'm not sure if it's somebody or you, have used your social information uh, to rent a car in the state of Texas? You know, there was an abandoned car uh, that was reported by the local residents from there, and the local sheriff has investigated on those cars due to, uh, and, uh, you know, they had run some forensic tests on the car. They found some drugs and blood stains on those cars. Oh, my. 
You keep calling it a state. Isn't Texas a province? And also there was an address which was linked uh, to that particular car. When they raided that particular property, they did not find anybody there, but what they found was uh, 22 pounds of cocaine. Uh, and this is an answer machine I'm talking to. You yes, can't hear and me. And different documentations from uh, different financial institutions, like there were uh, documentations from Chase Bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citibank, uh, you know, TD Bank, different other banks. And according I don't to those see what I'm talking here. This is a pre-recorded message I'm talking to, right? Right? This isn't even a real human being. It's a pre-recorded oh, message. Why, why, why do you think that? Oh, you did answer. I, I'm sorry. For a second, I asked you two questions and you didn't... You just went on talking. I figured it must be a pre-recorded message. No, I'm just trying to explain what's going on and what happened. So that well, you, you have proper understanding. You what keep charges using are against. words. You keep using words that don't make sense to me. Well, it doesn't make sense to us either. See? You're not understanding my questions at all. For you to say that. Okay, you don't... so let me know what questions do you have. Well, you keep using this word. Some of these words, you said the t state of Texas. The. Uh -huh. The word the. What does that mean? You keep saying the um, word the. Um, what is are you are you trying to play games here? No, but what is the? Just so I can know this isn't a pre-recorded message, could you just give me the definition of the? No, ma'am, I'm not here to give you any definition. Because, right? because just, this is I a pre-recorded want... message. Now I get it. A human being would say, know. will know that. We are sending the police officers to get you arrested from wherever you are in right now. We are seizing all of your bank accounts and also suspending your social number immediately with all the benefits that is linked to your social, okay? You're a girl. I'm a girl. Huh? We girls stick together. Girls okay, stick great. together. You're not going to come get me arrested. <laughs> I guess we don't stick together. La, 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 la. The. The. What is the? Can it be explained? Leave a comment. No Googling now. Google. That's a whole nother word.